Hey everybody, as you know, most of the time when I give you a video that it's usually uh, nice and edited and has a nice intro and all that, but uh, today didn't really matter um, that much as all of us are doing things that are not in our normal. I believe that sometimes a heart to heart uh, without all of that is what's more important. I even have some allergies that are going on. So the allergies and the combination of what's going on is really not a good combination. Uh, but I just wanted to share something with us um, that I think would encourage. When I say us, I'm talking about I'm getting encouraged just as I'm trying to encourage you. Um, that uh, in this time that we are in, many of us have never been here before and many of us are trying to figure it out. I am myself, even as a leader in my own community, uh, leaning on those who have led through worse situations than this. Um, and we're asking questions. Um, we're resisting the urge to be able to feel like we have to be the first one to know. Uh, even as a leader in the local church, um, our church is just uh, getting ready to turn five years old. And um, I don't feel the urge to know all the answers anymore. I just, I don't know. Sometimes we don't know and it's okay. But what I want us to know is that it's in time. This is the, this is the time, this is the season to make sure you're leaning on people who might know. And, and what they know might not be much more than what you know, but at least you have leaned on them. <clears throat> I grew up in Greenville, Kentucky small place in western Kentucky and uh, when I was uh, there there would be times where uh, my parents would be cooking and they would say uh, they wouldn't have everything that they needed and they would say go over to sister so-and-so's house and get uh, some sugar or get some eggs or uh, get some vanilla extract extract whatever it was that was needed because of whatever they were cooking they didn't have or forgot to pick it up from the store or maybe they just didn't have it whatever and I would have to go over to the house like hey my mama sent me over here to get this oh yeah sugar go ahead and get that and da, 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 take it over there and I'm sure I don't know what my parents were thinking at that time or what they were going through but I'm sure it took great humility to be able to say I don't know or I don't have um, go over to somebody else so that they can help us. I want you to embrace that and I'm learning to embrace it as well to be able to say maybe I don't have everything I need. I'm going to lean on somebody else and uh, see what they have and what they've been able to help me with so that I can get where I need to get and do what I need to do. Many of us who are extroverts uh, who love to be around people, we're like, oh Lord, who? what do we do? But I'm telling you, even if you're struggling in whatever area, there are people without jobs, people who are really not really sure what tomorrow's gonna look like. But I'm saying to you right now, and I'm, I'm begging you right now, don't be afraid to go ask somebody for some sugar. If you need something, ask for it. As we are trying to figure things out and we don't know all the different answers, but I might not know the answers, but I might sure know someone that can connect you, get you connected to the person who has the answers. So resist that urge to be able to be trying to cook something with half ingredients. If somebody else has what you need, reach out because you might be the very answer to the question that I have within. So I want to encourage you. I want to thank you for being so supportive of the different things that I've done. You have been the answer to me in many seasons of my life. And we want to make sure that we are becoming the answers to you through what you're going through. We're going to get through this. This I do know. How do I know this? According to my faith, Romans 8 and 28 says this. For we do know that all things work together for the good of them, good of them who love God and are called according to his purpose. I do know that and I rest in that. And I want you to rest in that as well. So for the time being, lean on somebody else who might have some sugar you need. Have a great day. I love you.